fabulous. That's Kylie Minogue there at number three in the brand new computerized network chart. The most up the minute chart, the chart that counts. The only chart in the country brought to you in conjunction with peppermint essence. <laughs> Your home peppermint requirements. It's the poppermost. Poppermost. Peppermint bungus most chart the land. That's right, and uh, peppermint essence is, of course, the only essence uh, used by the stars for all their essence requirements. Uh, of a peppermint kind. Uh, cakes and puddings, and of course you can't beat a great steak and kidney and peppermint pie. Well, pastry mungus, mate, and uh, I like peppermint soup. Crouton-tastic, mate. <laughs> People in this country really are waking up to peppermint. You're listening to The Network Show, where music comes first. Nicely. This is the most accurate computerised chart around. The only chart quite literally, constantly updated, second by second, minute by minute. So, Kylie Minogue at number three there. News at number two, Speshy. Uh, it's Kylie Minogue, mate. <laughs> <laughs> she must have sold a few more records while we've been a yakking, and she's got up one place uh, to number two. So let's hear that, shall we? Chart update, mate. <laughs> Apparently, the number seven records just jumped to Messi five places to the number two slot. Right, so here's Sonia at number two. Uh, with the... Number three, mate. Uh, apparently, a girl in Wolverhampton's just bought Kylie. So, uh, <laughs> Kylie's back in there at number two. In fact, her discs just gone peppermint. <laughs> Congratulations, Kylie. Uh, quite literally everyone's favourite antipodean sex midget. So, let's hear that, shall we? Hang on a sec, mate. Now what? Apparently, the girl in Wolverhampton, she's taken the record back. Apparently, she wanted Danny Minogue, so... <laughs> number two now. Right, so let's hear Danny Minogue. Nope. Uh, she didn't want Danny Minogue either. She's taken that back and exchanged it for a record token, so... <laughs> right, at number five, down two places, up four, down another two, which makes it number three. It's last week's number six. Ready at number two. Now my place, tied with the number ten sound. It's up six places hang on, to... Hang on. Oh, hang on, mate. What the heck of the heck is going on on this? The most accurate chart. Why don't you just tell us what's number one? Now, you know I can't do that before the chart rundown, mate. I'd be thrown out of the DJ's union. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> suffice to say, uh, it's the same as last week's. What? You mean the theme tune for the brand new Levi jeans ad hasn't gone straight into number one? Afraid not, mate. Uh, just got to pop out for a moment, mate. Could you lend me 500 quid? Uh, sure. <laughs> What's it for? Uh, packing of fags. <laughs> <laughs> He's bonkers, isn't he? Mind you, we all are here on Radio Fab FM, where we're chock-a-block of rock and pop. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the brand-new top ten in the quite literally brand-new network chart goes like this. At number ten, Sinead O'Connor with nothing compares to you. And you too with nothing compares to Sinead O'Connor at nine. <laughs> at number eight, it's PM Tension and Time of the Month. <laughs> DJ Jazzy JFK and Freshy Pons featuring KLF, KLM, EMF, MFI, REM, EMF, <laughs> London, W14, 3WW. <laughs> and number six, Cliff Richard with God is Nice and So Little Children. <laughs> At number five, Gums and Roses with The Devil is Nice. <laughs> and so are little children. <laughs> At number four, Danny Minogue with I Should Be My Sister. At number three, Kylie Minogue with I Should Be Madonna. And at number two, Sonia with I Should Be Put Down. <laughs> Which means that the brand new number one of the uh, brand new network chart, brought to you in conjunction with Pet Medicines for all your home pet requirements, <laughs> is the same as last week's. And, uh, wait a minute, no it isn't. <laughs> I can't believe this. We've got a brand new number one. <laughs> All the way from number 25, it's that old classic from the new Levi Jeans ad. Barkman Turner Overdrive. <laughs> Not that yet. Let's rock. <laughs> What do you want? Can't you read the sign? No walkers, no beggars, no salesmen, no women, and no children. Hello, Dad. <laughs> I brought Melissa around for the afternoon as we arranged. Yeah, suppose you better bring it in then. No, I won't stop. I'll be back at five, Dad. All right? Yeah, all right. Here, hang about. Haven't you forgotten something? All right. Now, it was. Forty pounds, wasn't it? Plus me eighteen. Right. Bye, Mum. Bye. <laughs> what the bloody hell have you got here? <laughs> Granddaughter, it's come round to be entertained for the afternoon. <laughs> What are you looking 
to me like that for? Haven't you got anything for me to play with? Why don't you run along and play with that chest of drawers over there? <laughs> the drawer with the sharp knives in it, the second on the left. <laughs> I just want to play a proper game. All right, then. We'll close our eyes and you do the dishes, wash the floors and empty the chamber. <laughs> it's the same every time I come here. It most certainly is not. You've never seen anything quite like what's in my chamber pot today. <laughs> Why don't we go and see the nice animals again? No, I don't like the slaughterhouse. <laughs> All the sewage works. <laughs> Why doesn't Uncle Elf do his puppet show for you? All right. <laughs> Let's all say a big hello to Jeremy Jolly and his big bad bunions. <laughs> no! I want a story. A nice story. Well, here's a nice story. It's got animals in it. What's it called? Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> no! I want a proper fairy story. All right, then. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess who pricked her finger and went to sleep for a hundred years until one day an handsome prince come along and kissed her and she woke up in a pool of blood because she'd had terrible vein trouble when she was asleep <laughs> and she'd hemorrhaged, you see. No, I don't want that one. Well, what about Goldilocks, who ate the three bears' porridge and started bringing up bile? <laughs> I want to play a proper game for little girls. One way you have to count to ten and everything. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. You win. <laughs> Play by pandas and football play by quills. Tennis is for poofers, they're up each other's rears. Dolphins <laughs> bite their pillows and swimmers are the same. But we are proper men because rugby is our game. Hey! <laughs> right, who's round is it? I'll get them in. Good man. man. Well done, sir. Good game on Saturday. Bloody good. Three tries, two conversions, and 27 hospitalizations. <laughs> ah. There we go. Two by four, two by four. Wait! <laughs> right, who's round is it? I'll get him in. Good man. Well done, sir. <laughs> oi, oi, weirdo alert. Deck him. <laughs> What have we got here? Quantro. Try this, this one, one for size, Fritz. Splash! Death charge! <laughs> oh, one big titty bouncing up and down. Two big titties bouncing up and down. Three big titties bouncing up and down. We're going to have to get a bigger bra. Hey! <laughs> Why? Who's round it then? I'll get him in. Good man. Well done, sir. All right, weirdo, lad. Check him. <laughs> <laughs> How's your race after? Ah, uh, small problem. Oh, no car. Thought you were picking up a new one this morning. Did. Totaled it in the showroom. Good man, sir. <laughs> Wait, right, we're done with that. Deck him. <laughs> Good man, prop number one. Right. <clears throat> Ready? Ready. Erica, row, row, row the boat gently to the shore. What's a daisy, Christopher Biggins? Never been caught by a pig before. <laughs> Beethoven and Brahms. <laughs> St. Marie's, Marie's and Tesco's. <laughs> right, who's round is it? I'll get him in. Good man. Oh, All right, oh, oh, girly alert. Oh. Ollie, 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 Oxen, two by four, two by four. Hoi! <laughs> How was that for you? Best shackle I've had in weeks. <laughs> Hello. 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 Sucks. Now, you might notice something very different about us today. Yes. For the very first time, you're seeing us in living colour. <laughs> yes. Through the miracle of modern technology, you're at... <laughs> yes. This is exactly how we would look were you to meet us in the street. Or on a train. Or in the post office. 
Or in a public call box. Or returning a library book. Or mending a fence. Or replacing a fuse. Or choosing a cauliflower. Or discarding a spent match. Yes. So tell me, Mr. Chumley Warner, how exactly does this new colour process work? Or in the vegetable garden. <laughs> yes. So tell me, Mr. Chumley Warner, how exactly does this new colour process work? Well, exactly how you would expect. The film is shot in normal black and white, and then the colour is added afterwards. Fascinating. Here. Let's take a look at what else is new in the world of science. Plastic surgery, you say, Grayson? What's that? Plastic surgery, for instance. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> As you can see, Mrs. Armitage here is extremely ugly. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Armitage. With the miracle of plastic surgery, we can give you a perfect nose. It's a very simple operation. They'll cut into her bone here, adjust her face here and here, rebuild the cartilage here and here. <laughs> Three weeks later, and the bandage is ready to come off. And there's the nose, the perfect specimen. Do you like your new nose, Mrs. Armitage? <laughs> this plastic surgery of yours will change the face of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> This chap will never again have to worry about where to put his sandwiches. <laughs> and this enterprising young lady has solved the problem of how to serve soup while tossing the salad. <laughs> Finally, developments in medical technology have led to this splendid electric wheelchair. <laughs> Good night. We missed 30 something last week. Apparently... Oh, and the au pair buggered up the video. Well, apparently it was absolutely brilliant. See, what happened? Oh, don't yeah? tell me, don't tell me. Someone at work's taken. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Stopped off at the rugby club to get tanked up. Brought a couple of mates along. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, Andy, that's absolutely fine. Get rocking, old man. Right, well, <laughs> well, right I've in charge of the drink. Good man. Well done, sir. What have we got here, then? Um. Beer, whiskey, vodka, orange juice, white wine. Sounds good. Well, let's call it afterbirth, isn't it? Right, well, it's ready. Shall we see? All right, all right. Troughs up, man. Outside, sir. Man. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Oh, hello, Peter. Ah, oh, good man. Pete, strong name. What do you do? Uh, actually, I'm a writer. Oi, oi. Swat alert. Deep back in, Deep back in. Well done. All right, lovely. <clears throat> There's your afterbirth. Come on, make room for a chap. Hurrah! I've caught a totty. Oh, well done, sir. Pete, here's a bit of a swat. Yeah, actually, I'm a writer. Really? Anything I might have read? Well, I've just written a biography of George Bernard Shaw. You might Whoa! have seen it. Oh, George Bernard Shaw went to Brazil with a knife and a fork and a blue tit squill. He wrote a play on a prosy's back, swapped his knife for a Johnny and changed his name to... Jack Bernard Shaw went to Brazil with a Johnny and a fork and a blue-tipped quill. He wrote two plays on a tour, swapped the fork for a monkey and changed his name to... I'm sorry, what? It's Paul Bernard Shaw. Oh, 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 that's a lovely shot. Lovely line drive there from both of them. Is it? Or is that Mr Gatton? That's Seve Ballesteros, then. <laughs> Yeah, give us a shout when the old football, uh, uh, cricket, uh, yachting, a uh, uh, pigeon, uh, you know, uh, four legs, horse, horse. Yeah. <laughs> give us a shout when the old racing starts, would you? Right then. Anyone waiting? Yes. Have you got a cigarette machine? Just over there by the corner. Oh, not that corner, that corner. <laughs> Good evening, Bill. Bob. Bob. Oh, tell me. You seen much of old, 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 uh, old people recently? <laughs> Good afternoon, Les. I'll have a vodka and tonic, please. Right. That's not a fag machine. It's a jukebox. <laughs> That's right, sir. Takes ten p for two plays. Three plays. Takes twenty p for. No, I wanted cigarettes. Oh, we do cigarettes behind the bar, sir. <laughs> twenty silk cup, please. 
Right, you need two one-pound coins and a twenty. You know, twenty one-pound coins and a two. You know? No, that's a, a two and a one and a one two and a one one two one two one two one two. <laughs> testing, testing, one two one two. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this, the last night of the Wurzels National Tour. Oh, there, Leslie, what are you talking about? <laughs> Start again. Right, uh, you gave me a tenner. Don't worry, I've given up. <laughs> Takes all sorts, doesn't it, eh? Now then, what can I get you, Bill? It's God, and it's vodka and tonic. Vodka and tonic, right you up. Excuse me, I'd like to order some food, please. Certainly, sir, pint or a half. <laughs> no, food that you eat. I'd like to order a steak and kidney pie. Oh, right, right, OK. Fine, just get me pig pad pod. <laughs> right, one steak and kidney pie. Do you want that with steak or kidney? <laughs> Both, please. <laughs> Unusual. <laughs> and uh, jacket potato or baked potato? Either. Both the same once they're peeled and boiled, eh? <laughs> Peas or custard? Peas, please. OK. Right, that's uh, number 57. <clears throat> right, do you want that in the garden? Oh, have you got a garden? No, unfortunately. <laughs> <clears throat> right, then, uh, you gave me a tenner, Bill. No, it's, it's Bob, and it's a vodka and tonic. Right you are, Bob. Vodka and tonic it is. <sighs> ah, there you are, Maureen, my love. Do you get the shopping all right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were my wife for a minute. <laughs> Do I look like your wife, then? No, no, I'm not married. <laughs> She's a card, isn't she? What can I do? <laughs> Is that my food? Oh, I'm afraid we don't do food in here, sir. <laughs> right. Number 57. Oh. <laughs> Got it the wrong way up. Number 118? I think it looks like mine. Really? Oh, I must be left over from yesterday, then. <laughs> right, then. So, then, Dave, you're not drinking, then? No, funnily enough, I'm not. Can I get you one? Vodka and tonic. <laughs> Liz, the race is about to start. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Won't keep you a minute. Here, help yourself to nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my wife, uh, a horse, uh, red rum, uh, uh, Maureen, uh, uh, Misty Buff, Mint Sunrise, yeah. Can't lose with old Lester Pickett in the saddle, eh? Uh, Willie Carson, Pat Eddery. Uh, not that jockey, the other jockey, uh, uh, Jockey Wilson. 180! <laughs> oh, he's way out ahead. Uh, third, uh, right at the back there, typical. <laughs> come on! Come on, boy! Oh, yes! Come on! Come on, boy! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Well, who'd have thought it? Miles winning, coming second shot in the paddock. <laughs> Twenty quid on him, her, uh, yeah, or fifty, a uh, hundred, and uh, a beaver pony to win. <laughs> Each way. I'll tell you what. I wish I put a bet on. Makes it more interesting. <laughs> Come on! Oh look, I think it's going to be a photo finish. Sure. Oh, Eleven. I'll turn it up. Shall I? It's a bit quiet. Oh, lovely. One of my favourite songs. This. <laughs> right. Anyone waiting? I know I am. Part of lager, please, Liz. Liz. <laughs> Anyone seen this this evening? Yes, good. Yes, yes. Alistair! Oh, oh, it was Brian! Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Oh, good evening and welcome to the show. We got three lovely fellas lined up behind that screen over there. Waiting for some lucky lass to have a date with. But let's not hang around. Let's meet him. <laughs> oh, not the gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Tell us who you're on, number one, and what's your name? Eh, uh, my name's Barry. No, it's not. It's a friggin' it's <laughs> not. It's our Barry. It's right, our Barry. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's our Barry. All oh, right, our oh, Barry. OK, let's meet number two. Oh, it's our number two. What's your name, Chuck? It's our Chuck. <laughs> it's our Gary. <laughs> All right, let's meet our number three. Our Terry Arcilla from our Liverpool. Oh, <laughs> well, I think they're all gorgeous. Anyway, we'll see you later on. It's trough for now. <laughs> well, now we get to meet the gorgeous girl. We're going to meet her now. She's going to have a date with one of them fellas. So here she <laughs> You're an investment analyst at a merchant bank. Yeah. <laughs> what are your hobbies, love? Renaissance painting and early English church music. <laughs> ideal woman with Venus. Who's your ideal woman? Number one. Eh. Uh, ah, ma'am. <laughs> Number two. Ah, uh, nan. <laughs> uh, you saying our nan's better than our mum? <laughs> Are you saying our mum's better than our nan? Yes, hey. thinking, all right, all right, calm down. <laughs> and you're forgetting someone like you. Our nan's mum, gran. Are you saying our nan's mum's gran's better than our nan or our mum? Yeah, hey. I might be. Yes, hey. 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 Come hey. 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 Oh, calm down, sit down. Come on, calm right. down. Let's... Hello, window seat or aisle? What? Window or aisle? Window or your what? <laughs> window or aisle seat? Window or aisle seat? You're really sitting, Diane. Would you like to sit by the window or by the corridor? I want to sit on the plane. <laughs> smoking or non-smoking? Are you taking a piss? <laughs> Hello, this is Captain Patterson speaking. On behalf of Bucket Flood Airlines, I'd just like to welcome you aboard Flight 587 to Greece. We should be flying at an altitude of 35,000 feet, but as my co-pilot today is fat bloke, I probably will manage more than about 15,000 feet. <laughs> Excuse me, would you mind holding our baby while we get settled? No, not at all. Oh, tell our love. Leg it! Jimmy's <laughs> <laughs> got everything. Yep. Our pills. Yep. Diarrhea tablets. Yep. Sanitary towels. Yep. As soon as we get underway, I'll staff them down the car, Z. <laughs> All right. I'm getting nervous of flying, actually. Oh, you don't want to be scared of flying. No, 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 no. It's crashing. You want to be scared of it. <laughs> Especially a plane of this particular make and build. The wings are liable to fall off, you see. Sick. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be sick in a little bag like that. No, no, that's not at all sufficient. You want to be sick in a nice big bag like this. <laughs> now, I do not believe you wanted to do that. Be sick all over your duty free like that. <laughs> You didn't want to do that. I said be sick in a bag like this, not this particular bag. Oh, and you didn't want to eat that. Cancer <laughs> yeah, this time of year. You want petty pole, cauliflower, or cabbage. Would you vote him, sir? Right, sure. Pulse for number one. <laughs> one pulse for next. Bit easier this in flight quiz, isn't it? <laughs> Name of spouse. Spouse. Typical five foot Jimmy Tarbuckle, one of the Beatles. <laughs> now, look out of your windows. You'll see we're just passing over France. Good. <laughs> Oh, look, if you look out that side, you can just see the Alps. That side, the Pyrenees, uh, Barcelona, Billy Smart Circus. <laughs> what do you sir? Red wine. One red wine coming up. This is your first time by hovercraft, sir, or a train uh, by air sea. <laughs> first time by sea. Maureen, you're getting a bit busy down here, my love. Excuse me, sir, you're my brother. Cheerio. <laughs> Any more friends, sir? Ready? Yep. Bombs away! <laughs> Children, small people, <laughs> or fourteen, <laughs> cats or girls. 
gate first. Ah, oh, I know this one. I got a little handy way of remembering it. Bit of a cheat, actually. See, it's exactly the same day as my birthday. <laughs> Come back to that. Nationality. Say, do you mind if I crib? French? Gosh. Trick question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to go to sleep now. You'll miss the whole flight. Besides, you'll get jet lag. No, no, no. You want to go to sleep 2.30 their time. And you want to take your shoes off, too, or they'll swell up to 24 and a half times their normal size. Yeah, they'll explode. No, you want to take them off like me. Look. <laughs> What are you doing in there? Come fly with me and we take it out. We can't but turn it overdrive. You ain't seen nothing yet. Let's rock. <laughs> no. No. Ooh, it's a nice one. We'll have that. <laughs> Something to tell me, mate, isn't it? <laughs>